Hi folks, today I want to make a little review of this sucker, the Sound Blaster Play 3. I bought it because I needed a sound card to record the microphone for my videos. Let's look at how good or bad it is. It turns out it's so terrible as a recording device. First, let's do a quick test without anything connected. It has very high noise levels even without any microphone connected. Even when muted, the noise floor is very high. And now, do some tests with microphones. First, will be the Synco Lav S6, which is a common cheap lavalier microphone. Microphone test in Sound Blaster. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. For reference, here is how this microphone sounds when I connect it to the Lenovo dog. Reference recording of Synco Lav S6. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And also sound from the iPhone recording this video, not using any external microphone. Recording of Sankolav S6. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And now is the time to use dynamic microphone. I have here this Behringer BA85. And here it is, how it sounds connected directly to the Sound Blaster. Test of Behringer microphone connected directly to Sound Blaster. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. When I use the microphone preamp, the sound quality improves significantly. Now test Behringer microphone with preamp. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. All recording have applied gain to be at the same level. No other filters were applied. As you can hear, the quality with preamp is usable, but without them, it's just a noisy garbage. I know it's just a cheap sound card, but I expected something better for something with a Sound Blaster logo. For listening, I have no issues. It's not too targeted to our use with the high-end headphones and has various settings, so this side is decent for the price point. You won't have any issues using it for listening, but the recording is just not good. I hope this review helped you. Bye.